Hey internet, how's it going? Welcome to another, to another episode of the John Graves Show. If you haven't come to my channel already, I got some news for you. And if you see me looking down at my laptop, I'm going to be bringing some stuff to you. So yeah, let's get this thing going. Silicon Era, a really good game developer, pretty much says that Level 5 has teased some major projects and is starting to go out and they're really planning on bringing out like way more games um, such as they're about to drop another Fantasy Life 2, a Yokai Watch 3, and a Professor Layton. They also have a special event, event heading on, uh, going going on, in which they do leave a link in the um, in the article. And if 500 fans, if they actually do, um, I believe it's some type of contest or something like that. But like, if you go ahead and uh, and you do do it, you will actually, if you're one of the lucky 500 fans, you will get the ability to to attend this 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 small service that they're having for our, for all these announcements and all these games which is actually really really cool compared to how most other places do or like 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 how most other companies do it when they're hosting something and they only want want journalists journalists and or really it's not like the classical E3 anymore it's just we just want way more news and everything else you know stuff like that the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask tops it also it tops the gaming charts of February. I know that this is last month's month's chart, but really thinking about that and really looking at how the list is set up. All right, they have the top 10 games here starting from 10 to 1. The games are Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, The Order 1886, Minecraft, uh, all versions. Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse, NBA 2K5, but, uh, G uh, GTA 5, Call of Duty Advanced Wars, Dying Light Evolve, and then at the top of the list it is Legend, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask for, for the 3DS, or at least 3D. And I really look at that and I'm like, this older game really has been doing, really has something that all these other games have that that pretty much you look at it and it's like okay what makes that game so different from all the rest of them and I'm looking at it and I think I have somewhat of an idea I think probably because it's a for one it's nostalgia two it's just a game that's telling a grand story of like in mul in multiple ways in which that you can interpret it because everything is as black and white also and and also on top of that, it's a very different pedigree from from most of the games in which that we are getting today. In which that really the only other games in which that probably would have been up here, if they did come out uh, come out around that time, probably would have been Bloodborne. But really thinking about that though, that is some crazy stuff. So yeah. And finally, in Xbox news, something good has actually happened for them. Um, the X the Xbox One hardware sales see an 84 percent increase, um, uh, increase month uh, month month over month in February 2015. And what that means is is that, or at least or at least from what they explain in the article, is the fact that more gamers who actually do own the Xbox One, they go out and they just, or at least like they just take their system and they just play the damn thing like nonstop. Because I believe that there's something in here saying that saying that there's a breakdown of some gamers actually going out and spending 18.5 hours per week or, or just like um almost at least three times a day just just like just all day that's all they do they just play xbox and looking at it from that i'm like i can understand how this really does push push the system up because it, because like it gets it in like a number of factors of telling the companies that that yes people they do like our system they do like our games they do like our products and they don't mind the services in which that we we um give them and that the changes that we made have actually helped us out in the long run which is actually pretty cool so so yeah i'm actually happy that um microsoft is actually like building up some of their like or at um, uh, least like they are revving up their their um, uh, engines a little bit, and that that they are showing a little bit of promise. They still can't catch 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 the PlayStation 4, but they are doing something nice. So that is what I gotta say about that. What do you think about it? Tell me in the comment section. Tell me what do you think of these articles. I'll tell you. Uh, um, I'll 
I'll link everything down there in the description. So please check that out and please leave a positive or negative comment down there in the comment section. I'll catch you next time on the next John Graves show. I'm out.